Artificial intelligence company OpenAI is introducing a new safety and security committee. It's meant to evaluate future system models. A company blog post says the committee will spend 90 days evaluating overall safety measures before delivering a report to the board. It comes as OpenAI has found itself under fire recently for violating ethical business practices. We have Joanna Stern. She's here to break this down this morning. She's an NBC News personal technology analyst and senior personal technology columnist at The Wall Street Journal. Joanna, always great to see you. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. So three of the team members on this new safety board are also open AI board members. Tell us who makes up this board and if there are any concerns there about conflicts of interest. Yeah, and the, one of the, the most central people on this board is the CEO of OpenAI, Sam Altman. So certainly a lot of scrutiny around this safety board, but first let's just talk about why the safety board is so important and maybe more important than other safety boards, organizations, and other tech companies. AI has the potential to disrupt so many things and disrupt our safety in society, our jobs, and et cetera. The list can go on. The job of this board, the safety board, is to make sure that AI is being created within the safety bounds set by the company and that align with our human values. So that is their job. Now imagine, let's say, your seatbelt was being uh, uh, overlooked by the, by the safety board by the same people who made the seatbelt. They might just say, hey, that's fine. Safety looks good. Two thumbs up. And that's sort of the situation that people are thinking OpenAI has put themselves in here. The CEO of the company is evaluating the safety. So, I mean, Joanna, not even two weeks ago, OpenAI actually dissolved its team in charge of overseeing the future of AI. How does this new team differ? I mean, what's the ultimate goal here? So OpenAI had a bunch of shakeups internally where they had seen employees who were involved in safety leave the company. They had a new board put in because of what had happened in November where Sam Altman, the CEO, was actually ousted by the previous board. And so then he made a comeback. It's pretty messy and it's it's really a, a great soap opera that I'm sure will be a great Netflix movie at some <laughs> point. But what this board is really meant to do is, as you mentioned, some are actually on the actual board of uh, OpenAI, but this board is meant to evaluate the safety of OpenAI's products, make sure that they are safe to deploy, and then also talk to the other board, the main board of the company, which some of these members sit on, to say, hey, here's the update on safety. Here's where we are on a number of different things with these products that, we're, that we want to deploy. And Joanna, in that Netflix show, I think at least an episode will be dedicated to a huge famous movie star gets upset that her voice is being used as their virtual assistant, which everybody remembers that this just happened with Scarlett Johansson. Is the timing of an announcement like this coincidental or do you think that kind of putting something out there that's like, hey, look at us and safety and pointing to this is kind of meant to calm the waters after some controversy? I think this is meant to calm the waters after a lot of controversy. And it, it isn't just that one. And, and that's really what you look at what's been happening with OpenAI, which, look, may be typical for a startup. This is a startup that just exploded over the last year, year and a half. So when you look at what's been happening, I mean, you've got the Scarlett Johansson controversy where Scarlett Johansson is saying, you guys made a voice that sounds exactly like mine. Then you've got Sam Altman, the CEO, saying, sorry if you misunderstood. The back and forth drama, totally going to be an episode of that, of that uh, <laughs> Netflix show. Then you've also got a situation where you've got a lot of employees at OpenAI that were involved in safety, leaving the company, saying they don't agree with what the company is doing, and going to other AI companies and basically deflecting and saying, hey, we don't agree what's happening with you here at OpenAI. So you've got that happening in the background as well. And so you've also got what happened in November and the back and forth with the board happening. So all of these things have been just big controversy for OpenAI. But yay, here's a new safety board. It's okay. They're assuring us all. It's the company cares about safety. Which begs the question, ultimately, is it the government that really needs to be doing a better job of doing this oversight that this board does? And how far behind is the government right now? A hundred percent. I mean, I think that, you know, the, the, the analogy I was trying to make before about the seatbelts, right? The, the company itself cannot decide, hey, everything here is safe. We're going to keep going because the company does have that conflict, right? They want to make profit. They want to keep pushing the bounds of AI. And I do truly believe they want to make sure that it is not going to destroy the world. They do not want that. But we do obviously need serious regulation around this. 
Biden's exe executive order has added some has added some protection. Uh, we've seen more about uh, the, the the need to um, identify what is AI content. We've seen progress in that, but certainly more needs to be done. Mm. Joanna, we always appreciate when you join us. Thank you so much. Really interesting one. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.